because Bora loves those handles here. Oh. He always rides like that. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This, this works, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone ever doubted the stability of the car, <laughs> driving to 20 <laughs> over jump with one hand. Let's go, because that's a good bit of gear change. Ah. Uh, Should have left it in auto. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back at the Nürburgring here at Apex and welcome to a video that I've been wanting to make and I'm sure many of you wanted to see, namely the first ever lap with our new G80 M3 Taxi. Now we already showed you the car, talked about the car, showed you the suspension, the KWV5 racing. Today we're going for a lap but first I would like to talk to Tim, our driver, about your first experience with the car because you did yesterday a full day of yep. driving, testing, took out our first customers who were yep. like very excited about it. So let's go immediately with the most like the, the biggest concern of many people, like is this car less exciting than the F80 M3? I think it's exciting in a different way. Okay. Like because you're really thrown around the car, obviously there's no interior. We had that with the F80 in its first generation, if you like. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing with this car is the power. It's noticeably faster in a straight line. Like mm. in every area in a straight line, it's faster, mm -hmm. um, which is really cool. The brakes are really nice as well. Yeah. So as a passenger, you're definitely getting thrown around and you're getting the full like Nürburgring experience, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, I think as a driver, it's not quite as involving, mm -hmm. but obviously you bounce off the feedback of the people in the car. Yeah. So it's just as fun for me to drive as well. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, standout features is the power is really good for a stock set of brakes. It's really good. And the suspension is, you know, it's doing its thing with working on uh, fine tuning it a little bit. So we did, like you said, a bit of that yesterday. We'll do some more today. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, within the next week or so, I think we should be fairly happy with how that is uh, going forwards. But yeah, it's been really easy to work on the car. It's easy to drive. So far it's been faultless, which is yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. So let's see how we see how we do for the rest That's of the year. That's always good. Yeah, yeah, we saw yesterday people getting out of the car are very excited. Yeah, they were and buzzing. Everyone's been buzzing. You know, it's yeah. great to see. And it's really nice as well. Like, you know, now Corona's finally on the other side, yeah. actually being able to interact properly with the people inside the car. Yeah. It's been, you know, a really nice Oh, yeah, you didn't need to wear a mask. No, no mask. And it's like, <laughs> you know, everyone's like, it's like the free, everyone's free. You know, last yeah, two even, years, it's been Last like, year, you were only allowed to have one person in the car. Well, yeah, it's exactly. such a difference. Like, everyone bounces off each other. And the atmosphere is just great. Everyone's yeah. having a great time at the same time. And then, the, you know, you get people in the front making fun of the people in the back and, you know, because mm -hmm. they're getting sick or maybe the person in the front is getting sick. And it's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a good experience. It's good yeah. fun. Yeah. This is real world uh, drive version so yep. that the X-Drive, how you find it handling? I think I only it, drove it in the dry so far, mm -hmm. but the traction coming out the corners is like outstanding. For a car with that much power and torque, the traction really is very good. Mm -hmm. In the wet, it might be a different story. Yeah. We'll see, probably in a few days time, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a wet lap. Yeah, we'll do a wet you. lap, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so far it's really good. At the moment, we're on the Michelin tire, the yeah. PS4S. Mm -hmm. I think the plan is to try semi-slick later on in the year, but mm -hmm. so far, yeah, I'm really impressed with the traction. Mm -hmm. Um, I think actually as well, it's aided by the gearbox. Mm -hmm. it's, I know it's been a big discussion point is this automatic gearbox mm -hmm. that they put in this, the eight, eight speed, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, to be honest, it's really excelled my expectation. Yep. I, I expected it to be a bit of a slush box and effective, but not very exciting. Mm -hmm. But whatever they've done with the configuration of that box seems to work really well. Mm -hmm. um, and no overheating issues and it's it's fun like it gives you a kick in the back but it's not too aggressive like yeah. you found with the DCT, the DCT sometimes exactly. you change your gear and it just light the rear axle up and then you end up driving the car using the gearbox and not on the throttle mm -hmm. so I think it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes like the ratios are very closely stacked yeah which should be good yeah cool well I guess that's all we need to know for now from the driver perspective and we're about to show you how it looks like from a passenger perspective so let's hop in also you, Adrian, let's go for the first passenger lap, but you don't have to, <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to hold the camera there. We'll do that with the fixed GoPros. Let's go. Uh, I think George is now. Are you done? He's stuck. Stuck? <laughs> the adjuster's stuck. <laughs> so, very grand suspension, yes, but the adjuster got stuck. <laughs> Three. <laughs> We'll be right back after the commercial break. <laughs> Misha, did you see that there's like a light, like a little spotlight on the puke bags? Look, it's blue. Yeah. 
right here. <laughs> this room is empty. <laughs> Let's see if you're gonna like this more than the Pulsar, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> we will see. I know it's tough to beat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> All the hellos. Hello. Are you shifting by yourself? You're not driving in automatic mode? Uh, no, automatic. No? 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 Okay, spe special courtesy. Special. Special, special lab. Service. Nice. Also DSC off. No happy endings. So. Uh, it, oh. It's good that it shows you Norch Life on the, on the dash, so it, it tells you where we are. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wonder if it would tell you the corner names. <laughs> it's so weird, the tarmac looks as if it's like wet, but it's, it's weird. It's weird yeah. <laughs> Someone like is playing with ultra graphic card settings right now. <laughs> the reflection's fully on. Yeet. Under no circumstances, what, Tim? <laughs> Kill the tires. Ah. <laughs> is that what George said? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, because nowadays in today's world we have tire deficit. It's a huge tire shortage. Yep. I guess the tire facilities are tired. So, do you think this feels better or not? I think so. Well, to be honest, on the previous lap I had my camera in my hand and I was focused on trying not to smack myself in the face with that. I think it does. It feels it's, it's yeah. definitely smoother. <laughs> definitely more of a smoother. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm constantly in every corner like, hey, what's up? By the way, with Michelin PS4S. Imagine with Cup 2s. Although the PS4S higher Ford BMW is significantly grippier than the <laughs> than the regular. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid touch. <laughs> I hate it. And the PS4S is just a witchcraft tire, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so good. Just wait till PS5S comes out. With all the new processing power. I think it's out, isn't it? No, it's just PS5, not the S yet. Yeet! Seventh kilometer. Woohoo! I like how it does make some pops and bangs, but I'm up shifting. We actually, by the way, ordered new exhaust for it, so. What's going on? Uh. Now you put me on my spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's, it's handmade titanium actually, yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be a very spec. Insert name here. <laughs> Insert name here. <laughs> Yeet. Oh, luckily there's FIA fans just in case this year. Since this is an official video, we need to mind the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> that speed limit. Oh, we need to <laughs> magically cut it up. Oh, no, not here. Here is fine. Just there, 50. Just the 50. <laughs> Even 70 is fine, I've been told. Okay, we'll do, we'll do yeah, yeah, okay, 70. So, oh, oh, so <laughs> <laughs> how's everyone feeling in the back? <laughs> how's the weather? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing actually 50, come well, on! It says on the dash 50. So. David Pittard, he was also full on in the in the, <laughs> in, in the brakes here. I like how they cut the trees here. You see so yeah, much it's more of the sky. Yeah, <laughs> it felt weird. Like, oh, we have more track here now. Yeet. Still in the 
wet. Yeah, yeah here is wet. Don't like wet unless. If you know it's wet, it's fine. Yes. If you don't, without proper rubber protection, then it's not fine. Rubber protection. Rubber protection. Yeah, like oh, boots yeah. and or cloak or you know or umbrella. Have a Boris' favorite feature, the, the handle. Me? Yeah. I like this car. Yeah, it's nice. It's very funny. What do you mean? Because Bora loves those handles here. Oh. He always drives like that. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Can I use this? Okay, this, this works actually. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone ever doubted the stability of the car, <laughs> driving to 20 <laughs> over jump with one hand. I had to let it go because I had to go for the gear change. Uh, I could have left it in auto. Yes. <laughs> 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 that's, that's when you really feel the weight in corners. Uh, he just called you fat. Yep. Thanks. I, well, I well, didn't. Thanks oh. for the thanks for also like <laughs> spotlighting it. Oh by the way, oh, by the way, Dad, if you didn't know that's you, I meant the plural. Oh, okay, he called us fat. Okay, that's we've been saying a lot of um, <laughs> the, like the, the big compliment that the or let's say people that have experienced both version of the F80 taxi uh, the st stockish version and the fully modified bucket seat one they many of them were actually saying that the stock seat it was more fun with friends because you get thrown around you get the experience and you get get to laugh and I can absolutely share that thought now because this was definitely a lot fun to just like <laughs> be thrown around, be awkward and have lots of giggles because yeah in a full race car of course it's, di uh -huh. it's different yeah. perception, different yeah. feeling but this was yeah you cannot fake the smile I for think, sure. I um, think the thing with the 
F80 when it was fully built as well, because you, you were, you know, strapped to the car. Mm -hmm. To get the same sense of speed, you had to go much faster. Yeah. Than you did, than you did, you know, without the bucket seats. Yeah. So yes, you felt the G-force more like in your neck and all that sort of stuff, but you didn't have the same sensation of just. You know, I was right thrown out of my seat yeah. multiple times. Yeah. Like my my butt was not on the seat multiple times. Yeah, no, it's like holding onto the roof and shit. It's a proper proper <laughs> roller coaster experience, and you, on the back you can also look actually what's happening in front. Absolutely, oh, yeah, be that's because good. that that was a big downside for me personally. Like, of course, you cannot replicate this experience because you're sitting really on a fixed rear axle and you feel the exhaust rumbling through your body. That's absolutely like. Is something you should experience once in your life for sure but in terms of experience the track you you were completely strapped into the bucket seat and you're like mm, okay i have a side window here and i could kind of see what's happening in front um so yeah it's they're both awesome for their unique ways and um yeah just hop in you will definitely not regret it and most importantly take friends with you because <laughs> a it's more fun and b it's also cheaper because 2.99 per lap it doesn't matter if you go by yourself or with two more people then you can split the costs and um, yeah i don't know what else is there to say diana as a general manager that, that <laughs> give us a general <laughs> advice <laughs> Come to your laps. Yes. Yay. Send more emails to Diana. She loves it. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> we also have automated booking system. <laughs> yes, that. Go to www.afix-nurburg. That's n-u-e-r-b-u-r-g dot com and book your taxi labs there. <laughs> nice. I think you can be an announcer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Let me Ooh. out. <laughs> okay, we will. We'll also let Pancake out. To be again. fair. It, to be able to look forward through the whole window saved me. Yeah. I don't get sick on yes. track, but that yes, was definitely. that was a lot of like washing machine kind of situations. <laughs> and even me with my Polish face was look like all the time I was smiling. Yeah. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like we bonded a little bit as well. <laughs> Should we, should we leave them too? We, yeah. <laughs> we got a little bit closer today. Literally. I think, I think we bumped our head once or twice as well. 